Well, hey there, folks. You're watching the Main Man channel. Not just names, way of life. Got to improvise, adapt, okay, each and every day. Just to make it in this cruel whole world. So, that being said, topic of today's video is we got our Springfield. He's nice and old up to XDM 40. 4.5 inch batch grade out here. And uh, we got some. 115 grain full metal jacket 1150 feet per second 9 millimeter Luger so we're going to be shooting in an XDM 40 oh guess what phone's going off sorry I've got my Storm Lake 9 millimeter Luger conversion barrel in my XDM 40 and I've got a Pro Mag made for the Springfield XDM-40. So that being said, that's how we're gonna get to shoot nine millimeter in my XDM-40. And this thing with that barrel, I mean, it is awesome. It is a nail driver. Uh, you do have to watch the mag dumps, the rapid fire just a little bit. Every now and then she might uh, have a little bit of an ejection issue or something like that. But as far as regular shooting, planking, this, Storm Lake XDM uh, 9mm Luger conversion barrel and just a 9mm mag in the XDM 40 works just fine. No issues except, you know, with the rapid fire thing. Alright, and so like I said, we'll be shooting the 9mm Luger 115 grain full metal jacket from PMC Bronze. The great folks at KCI partnered with PMC Bronze to send me this ammo to test out and I want to thank them. So, all right, we're gonna load up this bag, so we'll have, we'll, we'll go ahead and plus one it. That way we can get through this video as quick as possible. This magazine holds 18 rounds, and then we're gonna plus one it. That'll be a total of 19 rounds, so uh, we're gonna have some fun. So here we go, I'm gonna edit the load, uh, the load ups, and we'll get through the video real fast. Okay guys, I told you wrong. This is actually a 19 round magazine, but I can only get it to hold 18 where I trust it to feed, so that's fine. All right, here we go. We've already got one plus one. Just insert our bag, make sure it's seated good, and then we're ready to rock and roll. Here we go. We'll light Timmy Bobby up with a double tap, and then we'll just have some fun. Double tap, Timmy Bobby, the little silhouette, and the big plate. Let's see if we can hit some of them smaller plates with this thing. You have hardly no recoil with that big stainless steel slide on this thing, okay? So here we go. We're going to keep going. We can definitely hit those six inch plates. All right, so we're gonna go back to the big ones and double tap and uh, see if we can finish out this bag. All right, and we are empty. So we hit most every one of them. We tried some of the even the little bitty small uh, three and four inch plates, but uh, we didn't do real good on them. But uh. We're going to load this bag back up and we're going to keep going. Okay, folks, we're about to go with another 19 rounds. I love them double taps out of this thing. So, we're going to keep doing it. Let's go triple taps on the big three. We'll go big silhouette, which is Timmy Bobby, little silhouette, and then big white plate. So, let's do that. Here we go, triple taps. Oops, I ejected one. <laughs> Forgot I had one in the chamber already. But we'll shoot it in a life mag, no problem. All right, here we go. Triple taps. Hit on one. Try and get it. We got a little excited there, but we got more hits and misses out of it. I think I forgot I was triple tapping there for a second, but uh, 
anybody's running good, we'll load up our last few rounds and we'll keep going. Okay, folks, so I forget how many rounds we had left, but we got the rest of the box of 50 in there. So, that being said, is the one we ejected out on accident while ago. All right, so, what I'm going to do is, I'm going to go one-handed tactical in a reverse weaver stance, which looks like this right here. You twist together a little bit to the side so it helps you with the recoil. You put your hand right here on your chest for stabilization, or you can put it on your side. We'll do chest. Alright, from back here, it looks like this. Something like that. Okay? So I'm going to do that all on the red silhouette, shooting as fast as I can, one-headed. See how many we can get on target. Here we go. No malfunctions out of this ammo so far, guys. They even shooting it pretty fast. So we'll see what she does. Make sure y'all can see me good. All right, here we go on the big silhouette. Right. I short-stroked it a couple times. My reset got me. I think I had one miss out of the whole thing, but uh. She ran just fine, shooting that fast, one-handed, uh, and everything. And uh, my Springfield XDM 40 with the Storm Lake conversion barrel, she's now clear. She ran just fine. Let's let you see that Storm Lake emblem on there. It looks good. All right. And then, of course, my XDM 40, and then my Springfield labels, labeling on there. It looks good on that stainless steel slide. Hardly any recoil, guys, with that nine millimeter uh, and I even left the uh, the 40 recoil spring in there a lot of folks said it won't run with the 40 recoil spring well most ammo it will run pretty good uh, I think in the rapid fire situations on a few of the cheaper rounds that's what got me into trouble you know as far as uh, it not uh, cycling all the way maybe a stove pipe here and there or a failure to eject or something like that but uh Hardly ever did it then, even. But this daggum uh, PMC bronze, 9 millimeter Luger, 115 grain full metal jacket rated at 1150 feet per second. It's definitely hot enough to work that daggum uh, uh, XTM 40 recoil spring. So all you got to have is a 9 millimeter mag and 9 millimeter conversion barrel, and you're ready to shoot 9 millimeter out of your Springfield XTM 40, especially if you use this PMC bronze, 115 grain, full metal jacket, 1150 feet per second, sent to me by the nice folks at KCI, partnered with the folks at PMC bronze for testing. Thank y'all. I still got a lot more nine millimeter left. We're going to get into some Glock action and some Taurus G2C action pretty soon. All right, so stay tuned. We'll get those videos up next week sometime. These two will be up this week, so... Uh, the two that's up this week is the uh, Kimber and the uh, the Springfield. So uh, if we can get more done, we'll get more done. But uh, got some stuff I got to do on my off days. My off days are busy when you're the main man. Anyways, uh, check out my giveaways. Okay, I've got the uh, May first giveaway the 800 subscriber giveaway and the 900 subscriber giveaway up. The links will be in the description. Watch those videos in their entirety and they'll tell you exactly how to enter. It's it's all free. Uh, if you win, I'll ship it to you. It's no problem. Thank y'all. I'll catch y'all next time.